Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Glitch Pokemon Yellow. Today I'll be showing you how to get any Pokemon in the game using WSM. To get WSM, you can go to Part 18. I showed you you can go to the Celadon Looping Map, basically pull it out of there and put it in your PC and then get it back out and you'll have it like perpetually. Or the way I did it was using P Pokemon P and using an X, X Speed, you can have it transform that into WSM nicely and you can get it that way. Which I personally recommend if you're just going to get one item like WSM. So now, you can see, my item bag looks kind of funny here. I have some weird amounts of items. Uh, Master Ball, I actually don't need that amount, but you do need an item right here. I'll put in the description of like where the items are, like in this order basically, the amounts and like why they're there, if that makes any sense. So yeah, you'll see I have some weird quantities here. I'll put that in the description, as I already said. So now, we need to see the uh, Pokebox, <laughs> the PC. Um, because this glitch also goes off of like a script and basically goes off the item bag and it goes off within the PC So you're gonna need a box. that's completely empty um, I'm chose box 11. Let's see, we'll just do release and you can see here. I have these Pokemon um, I'll put in the description as well like basically what needs to be here. It needs to be in this order and um, The only really special thing about this script um, You need seal to have a HP of 233. That's really important because if you don't have that it's not gonna work and that's like the only like really strict thing in here. That's what I liked about this method is that like you just basically need to have that specific seal and then everything else is just how it is. Doesn't matter what level it is or anything like that. So like I said, I'll put that in the description for you to see. This is the show that no cheats are involved in this. It basically just runs off the game's code using a script. And as I mentioned, you need to have your active box set with these Pokemon. As you can see, it's box 11 for me. And it goes off the item bag. It doesn't matter where you stand to use WSM, I'm just going to stand here. So basically WSM will use what well, I have in my item bag here. And you can see that the repel is actually 255. So if I use it, it gives me a Q because Q corresponds to index number 255. So if I get rid of it, get rid of one item, you can see it gives me a different Pokemon. 4-4. <laughs> four, four. There's a lot of 4-4s four, in this game, it's really weird. But you can see, I get Q, and it's just called Q, not TM55, because we kind of discovered that um, when a Pokemon, a glitch Pokemon especially, evolves and turns into another glitch Pokemon, it tends to get nicknamed to a, like a TM. It's like TM55 for Q, 7G apparently evolves into, I think it was TM40, and you can see here the 4-4, four, four, um, it looks like a hybrid of Metapod, I had to guess, number 11, it's a bug, with Harden, that's my guess. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm not going to go through all the glitch Pokemon, what I'm going to do is show you sometimes, here I'll even just give you an example right here. If I get rid of seven of these and I run WSM, my game will basically crash because it, the game just encounters a problem. It can't read the script properly and it just results in a crash. And I'm basically going to go through and show you every index number that will add, some of them will add like random, I know at least two or three of them give you like they're like missing note and they'll give you like a lot of in your um i think it's here i think this is the sixth slot it'll give you like 128 and if you try and run the script your game will crash here i'll even show you right now boom i do not code and that will happen a lot there's some pokemon where it'll like act like p pokemon p and it'll like change it entirely it's usually the sixth slot that gets that sometimes i think there's a few pokemon that add like two to like the repel and sometimes adds two to the oh uh, i think it's the um lemonade at the bottom so I'm basically going to go through the rest of the video and show you all the index numbers that will alter um, your item bag so you can avoid that. And I'll put timestamps and everything in the description. <laughs> I'll have a lot in the description for you. <laughs> so yeah, enjoy. Okay, so basically the first Pokemon that will give you trouble is at 249, the index number 249. That's what it looks like right there in the item bag. And that It changes on based what, like what city you're in. It'll change like the little glitch symbols but it has no effect on the glitch. So you can see there we got dollar sign. I'm gonna nickname it, just I'm gonna nickname it. I, in my file I had like um, dollar sign, like quite literally dollar, or maybe I named it dollar, I don't remember, so I'm just gonna put dollar. I think I quite literally put dollar sign. <laughs> but as you can see, it gave us 200, or 128 to our sixth slot. So basically we have to get rid of that because if I try and use WSM again, it didn't even work. <laughs> It didn't even give me a Pokemon. It didn't even crash, it just didn't do anything. So basically you need to get rid of that, take it back to the um, 89 that it was, and then it'll work fine. I can even show you that for proof, I guess. Um, it is kind of tedious, you have to go all the way up. It's really annoying, I should show you a different one. Um, <laughs> like spamming the keyboard right now, it's nuts. 
We'll do 90. It's easier math for me. <laughs> so 90 and then 38. That's pretty much all you gotta do. So if we try and use it again, it should work. So we got another dollar sign. So basically, I'm gonna move on to the next one. There's not much else to say right now. Um, I'm not gonna go through all the glitch Pokemon right now, as I mentioned. I just, it'll take way too long. So yeah. <laughs> Moving on to 244, we have kind of an interesting Pokemon here. I think it's kind of interesting. Um, it's a hybrid of, I think, a Pidgey. Pidgey or Pidgeotto. But what's most interesting is when you go into its, you know, stats menu here, some weird things happen. And I'm showing it here because this can potentially mess up your game a little bit. So as you can hear, like, all sound just cut out. There's no sound whatsoever, and I'm, like, walking around, you can't see me. I don't know if... Well, that was interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was just curious to see if... Like, it does not even fix by going onto another route. Um, there's no sound. Oh, there we go. Looks like it comes back when you exit around. What if I go inside? Yeah, so you gotta be a little careful viewing this Pokemon's stats, because it might it might, like permanently mess up your screen. I'm trying to remember if um, flying will fix it. I think flying might. It usually does. It does. So just look out for that. It's not really that damaging. I haven't looked at that Pokemon very much, so just be worrisome of that at first. Or wary, I should say. But now I'm gonna move on to the next one. Okay, moving on to 237. So sadly, <laughs> this is the only Pokemon that cannot be attained doing this. Because you can see, it actually locked up my game. And I don't mean to like false advertise get any Pokemon, but you can pretty much get every other Pokemon in the game besides this one. For some reason, this one just seems to lock up the screen every time you obtain it this way. There's a few things you can do, you can try to nickname it, but I have not been able to get anything to work. There is a method of trading Pokemon in between yellow and red and blue, and you can like, they, they change, they basically morph when they change, or they get turned into a different Pokemon when you trade them through the game. To take a different game from pretty much yellow to red and blue and you'll get different stuff so that might be one method of getting this pokemon but right now there is like no way of getting this pokemon that i know of besides cheating of course but we don't do that <laughs> as you can see here so now i'm gonna move on to the next one so now we have our first pokemon that will actually add an item to the sixth slot <laughs> So as you can see here, we have 91 here. We don't want that, because if we do it, I'm pretty sure a game crashes. So you have to toss those. But then after that, you can use it again, no problem. And it will keep adding two to each time you obtain that Pokemon. So you have to keep tossing. Make sure you do that. That's why I'm showing this. And that was um, special stat 228. So watch out for that. So now moving on to 225, we get that. <laughs> What's interesting about that though, it actually gives us 66 Master Ball. So I should say it adds to giving us a total of 66. And what's cool about that is you actually don't even need to, um, to encounter this Pokemon to do this if you wanted. You could actually just use, you could just buy 66 Ultra Balls and then put it in this script. Because now when you use the script, it gives you three trainer Pokey, which is actually really cool because three trainer Pokey's index is actually zero, zero. So you can't actually get three, uh, three trainer Pokey using this method the correct way using, you know, having zero. If you have zero there, there might be a way to like trick the game into thinking there's zero items there, but I just don't think that'll work because it will shift up the X speed and throw everything off. So this is one way of getting three turner pokey, which is actually worth sharing because there's not many ways to get three turner pokey. It can evolve from some Pokemon, even some of the Pokemon here, but it doesn't keep the really cool name three turner pokey. So this is like one way to get the legitimate three turner pokey which I recommend because it's an awesome Pokemon. I love it. So now we're gonna move on. So now moving on to index 222, we have another Pokemon with a long name <laughs> called Eight, I guess. I really dislike, there's no numbers in this game for nicknaming, I wish there was. I'm just gonna name it I, just get by really quick. So this one's interesting. It actually took me a while to figure this out, but you can see now we have TM21 here, not TM05. So it changed it 16 places, I think, if I'm doing the math right, basically, give or take. Um, so yeah, if I use this, I'll get an unknown opcode, WSM. If I use that, I will get an unknown opcode, which we don't want because it will just ruin everything. It took me a while to figure this out because at first it looks the same. You see a TM and you never think it's 21 instead of 5, but 
yeah so watch out for that a really good method is to just toss this item entirely if you unless you want to keep it i can't remember what tm21 is unfortunately but if you toss it you can just buy um uh mega kick or tm05 at the Celadon Mart, and you can just get 89 of them nicely. You don't have to worry about it. Because I fa failed to mention earlier that to get items over 100, you have to basically encounter missing now. Um, so I guess I can say that now. It's pretty easy to get repels. You just encounter missing no twice. You'll encounter them once. Like you'll have one repel, and then just toss two. And then once you encounter missing no again, you'll get nicely 255. I think I already talked about that in part 18 as well. And then for lemonade, you can do the same method basically. Um, I haven't calculated the math yet, but it's 201. I'm not going to do it now. I'll just tell you in the description what amount of lemonade you could put, and then just encounter one missing no, or you can just encounter two and then toss until you get to 201. It's up to you, as long as there's 201. Alright, <laughs> moving on to the next one. So now, moving on to index 220, we have Pokemon I, P. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I'm just going to nickname this too because I don't want to deal with this. It's cool they have PKMN in this game, but not numbers. It's kind of interesting. But you can see there, we actually just went back up to 222. <laughs> so if I use this, you'll see I just got that last Pokemon that I nicknamed I. So you have to watch out for that because it'll kind of make you get nowhere. <laughs> so you'll have to actually toss three and move on to 219, which is actually the next Pokemon we'll do. I'm going to cut it anyway just to stop doing having that Pokemon in my party. I don't want to have too many left over. So now... Um, Let's toss one here, and I'll give us 219 for the index number, <laughs> B. I'm just going to name it B. <laughs> it's like worshipping the woman right there, that's how I picture it. But it looks like it's a woman and then it's a swimmer, but facing backwards, I think is what that is. So yeah, that Pokemon's B, and you can see there's a random text box right there, which is kind of weird. Um, so yeah, the B here adds two to the six slot, as you can see. So that's the reason why I was showing that one. So yeah, now I'm moving on to the next one. Now we're back with index 217. Gives us that. <laughs> Which, that gives us a whole mess, <laughs> apparently, in our six slot. I don't remember how much it adds. I believe it's 32. Let's find out. Yep, it was 32. So just make sure you toss 32 after getting 217. Moving on. We have index 200. We got G-E-G, -E or G-G. I like calling it G-G. Even like a lowercase, it's kind of pointless because I'm not going to keep any of this. But yeah, I like calling it G-G because that's pretty much what it is. That E was based on the location of the, like where the sprites will show up. And I believe this one gives 228. I failed to do the math. Um, I'll do it really quick, just to show you. Pretty sure it was 228, just like missing no. That seems to be a common theme. It's either gonna add two, 32, or 128. Seems to be the theme. So basically toss 90 and then toss 38 is the way I prefer to do it. Yep, 228, it takes you back there nicely. So now moving on to the final Pokemon I'm gonna show. But definitely not least, because this is really important, in my opinion. So now, here we have 191, or special stat 191, 44. If you remember from the videos I was sure first showing glitch Pokemon, <laughs> we have obtained 44, which is kind of a big deal because 44 was a Pokemon you couldn't get for a while, and I like to consider it part of the OG Pokemon, like the um. Like basically from 191 to 199, I consider them the OGs just because you're able to get them without doing what this is considered, which is arbitrary, arbitrary code execution is basically what it's called. And like, that's pretty complex. Like you basically have to know how the game works to be able to get, to get these Pokemon. It's not very intuitive. Like it's almost impossible to stumble upon this on accident. You have to know what's going on within the game to be able to do this. So as you heard there, that was a pretty epic cry, <laughs> if I had to say so myself. Oh, can't get away, I don't think. Yeah, unfortunately this Pokemon has a black box effect, and I'm not a fan of that at all. Like, I'm kind of sad. There we go. Kind of sad that 4-4 um, has the uh, 
black box effect, but apparently 4-4 can do some interesting things. It has some interesting cries that I might show later. We'll see. But yeah, basically this is arbitrary code execution. This is something you can't do by accident. You basically have to know what you're doing. Like, who's going to have these items in their bag and just randomly use it with the Pokemon in their PC box? So that's where it differs, where it's like you can, in, you can get 4-4 normally. Well, you can't, but like you can get the other Pokemon normally, which I categorize 4-4 with those Pokemon, but it's like the only Pokemon you can't get because, you know, if you remember when you encounter it, your game just crashes, so it gets you nowhere. So that's actually about all for this episode. Um, I did have one idea to show, but I realize now that I'm just going to show various effects that I get from these Glitch Pokemon in a different video. So that's all for now then. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.